gifts are a part of fulfilling your destiny and your purpose. God created people to be in relationship with himself and with each other in friendship, marriage, family, society, and in the church. In biblical times, it was a man's relationship with his God and his community that helped him to foster into and matriculate into manhood. The problem today is that manhood is no longer celebrated. The problem today, particularly here in the West, is manhood is not even uh, uh, considered uh, uh, in terms of providing a rite of passage into, especially for us. And so many times, men find ourselves groping in the dark trying to find out what it is to be a man. We're not even talking about a man or God yet. So, so today, man has, man's work has uh, been made uh, the proving ground. Marcia mentioned earlier, one of your first questions is, what do you do? Because a man's work, his possessions, his business has become a proving ground for manhood. However, if you look at scripture, what God established first in Adam was relationship. It was relationship with him. Because you see, relationship is what is first and foremost. Because if a man has a relationship with God, you don't have to worry about him working. You don't have to worry about him sitting home watching Jerry Springer and Steve Harvey and eating up the kids' cereal and milk while you grind. Not if a man have a relationship with God. So really, in terms of dating singles, your first question really should be, what is your relationship with God?